at YouTube. We are back again today. We were just getting ready to do science, and so I figured what better time to share our science with you than when we're getting it out. Um, I told you in my last video that I was gonna set up our new science unit different than the one that I just showed you. So um, the intro to energy I set up just kind of in a binder format, and this one I used my new tubs that we found. So I'm just gonna show you some of the differences and kind of a little bit about what we like and what we don't. This is called Water in Our World, and this is curriculum from The Good and the Beautiful. And this is recommended for grades K through six, and it's meant to be done family style. Um, I have a second grader and a kindergartner, so this is mainly for my second grader, and my kindergartner just kind of follows along at her level, you know, kind of whatever she wants to do. Um, in my opinion, I wouldn't start formal science until like second grade. And then I let my kids pick. So this is the one that they picked. I ordered this printed from The Good and the Beautiful. So it comes on this really nice, glossy, high quality paper. Everything is in color. Um, so this is super nice. You can get the PDF and print it yourself, but you can get it this way. And it does come loose leaf like this because there's lots of stuff that you're going to cut out. So then what I did is I took all of the cut out things and I cut them out and I put them in the tub. These are the tubs that everybody's been talking about. These are Latchmate brand. I got mine at Walmart. You can get them at Michael's. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think somebody even said Home Depot had them. So if you have a Home Depot in your town, you can get them there as well. I also put vinyl labels on the front of mine. My kiddos have their names on them for their individual ones. And then we have a science one and we'll have a history one for next year. Everyone likes them because they come with this handy dandy little tray in the top. And right now I have all of my vocab words in here. Um, so this is what I cut out of the printed curriculum. These I laminated because we will put these up on a trifold board as we use them. Um, and I wanna be able to take them off and um, reuse them. So we'll just hot glue them on the back and then the hot glue will peel off the lamination and I don't screw up my nice pretty printed things. Um, we also keep supplies in here. All we have in here right now is a packet of Kool-Aid that we needed in lesson one. We have an extra packet. Then when I take my tray out, this is all of the science for the whole unit. This is the curriculum. This is all of the things that I cut out, the activities from the book. And this is all of the recommended read aloud books. So the first thing that I have on top is my curriculum. And this is hopefully not gonna be overly complicated and I can say it correctly. I wanted to try something different this time and not have everything in a binder because the binder takes up room. Binders don't fit in here. They fit kind of cockeyed at an angle, um, but I wanted to have all this other stuff in here. And I love having things spiral bound because then I can just keep this open to the lesson we're on, throw it in, pull it out. I don't have to look for it the next day. So I took and sent the PDF to a company called lulu.com. Um, somebody on this site recommended it and I found it this cost me six dollars to have it printed spiral bound and shipped if you sign up for the emails on lulu.com they are constantly sending out codes either for discounted products or free shipping so i didn't pay any shipping this is all in black and white double sided and spiral bound so six bucks 625 something like that um, so I can just have this open then as I'm going through the lesson I can just read it to my kids and then if I think what was I supposed to cut out and I can't remember which it is the cutouts are in here just in black and white okay so I love having this spiral bound here's my bunny trail I hate that I'm wasting the super nice printed material from the good and the beautiful so my OCD is not gonna be able to handle it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna print all of these colored pages that I cut out in black and white, insert them into the correct spot in the manual, take this and get this spiral bound, and then I'll have this nice, pretty, shiny, glossy color manual. And then somebody can have this one because I won't need it anymore. Um, but I just hate the fact that I'm wasting this, but I love having the nice quality color prints. So that's my bunny trail. So here's our lesson plan book. Then I took all of the cutouts and I put each lesson in its own plastic folder like this. Um, I will put a link down in the description down below if you wanna see the folders that I used, but these are just regular standard size folders. Um, I made a little label. Can you see my little label? Thank you. 
um, for each lesson so I know what it is. Then when it's lesson one day, all I'm gonna do is pull out the lesson one folder. Our mini book is in here. We can read our mini book. These I did not laminate. We've been careful with these and so I haven't felt the need to laminate the mini books. A few people put all the mini books together and spiral bound it all as a little, um, like a composition book, which was super cute and that's a really good idea too. Um, then for lesson two that we're gonna be doing this afternoon, these cards I did laminate because they're going to sort the different forms of water. Um, and I laminated all the little cards because these are probably gonna get spread all over my living room floor and I have a three-year-old and an eight-month-old. So those got laminated just for safety and for use, being able to reuse them again. Um, my hope is that we will go through most of these units a couple of times as my kids are in elementary school. Um, so there's about eight or nine lessons that have things that are cut out. So those are all in there next. And then in the bottom of our tub is all of our read alouds that were recommended. I think I got all of the read alouds except for maybe there was one that was out of print um, and then maybe one that was really expensive and so we'll either look for that one at our library or we'll skip that one um, but i did get all of the read alouds that were recommended um, some of them i did order with it a lot of them i ordered from thriftbooks.com again that i saw from somebody on um, the good and the beautiful facebook group super good website their books were really affordable this one is like an old library book um but some of these look like they haven't hardly even been read at all some of them look brand new and they were really really inexpensive um and they usually have some homeschool discounts and stuff like that so all of our books are in here and oh, this is my son's favorite sorry that he's pointing at me from behind the camera um how water gets from treatment plants to toilet bowls he can't wait for this unit so we're excited about toilet water in our house um so i'll put a link to thrift books as well because i was super impressed with their selection and their prices and the quality of books that they had um so then all of our read alouds can sit in there so then we can take our science wherever we want to take it um, we can sit at the table if everybody wants to spread stuff out. We can go outside here in a few weeks or months when it gets nice out, hopefully. Um, and everything is all together and is there the way that we need it. So I like this. Um, I like this so far better than having everything in a binder. And that's just my personal preference. This is just an alternative way to do that. I'm hoping that when we get done with each unit that I can take and just kind of put it in like a vertical file bin or a magazine file and then all of this stuff will be just like this and it will all be in a file and I can put it in my closet. If I had unlimited storage space, I would probably just buy one of these bins for each unit, um, but I don't have unlimited storage space. So I have to solve that problem. But for now, I love having the spiral bound lesson plan. I love having each lesson easily accessible in its own folder and then having a read aloud book so we're not running around looking for them. So again, we've been super happy with the good and the beautiful. Um, my kids enjoy it. It's really open and go. It's easy for me. I spent a Saturday or Sunday afternoon cutting things out and putting them in the folder, but now the whole unit is done. Um, the supplies that you need when you need experiments are things like Kool-Aid or paper towels, things that I have in my house. So it made it a lot. It makes it really simple for me. Um, so if you have questions about the good and the beautiful, about how I set it up, um, please leave them in the comments below. I will link to Lulu where I got my book from. I will link to thrift books if you want to check out some cheap books. Um, I'll put links for the folders that I use, the tubs, and then the books if you do want to look through and at least see what the book list is um, on Amazon. So we always appreciate you guys watching and I love being able to share what we're doing in our school with you and I hope that you can find some things that work for your family. Happy homeschooling.